Okay, so we were having some issues with um, under bezels. Uh, all right, so here's what's going on. If I just run under bezel builder here, and you know, it starts me out with kind of whatever uh, could be my last use settings or or the defaults, uh, but it should be similar to this. So there that is. Now, if we take a look at these values, they're all based on millimeter, and they're all um, you know, the defaults are hard coded. Uh, it, it's not really looking at the stone size. It just gives you its default values, uh, which which may not be the best practice, but that's the way it is right now. So, uh, so how do we how do we cope with this? Well, for stones of this size, it's not a big deal, and and I can commit to that. Move on to my next stone, which is slightly smaller, and run under bezel again, and I get an under bezel with the same values, which uh, works well on this stone. Now, if I jump down to this this real small one and I run under bezel, I get something that looks like this. Now the problem is these thicknesses that I have, like this is 0.62 millimeter uh, thickness here, and my stone is a one millimeter stone. So what's happening is when it tries to uh, sweep around in a circle, it's just folding over on itself and it's uh, it just fails. So what you can do is you can bring these thicknesses down and if you watch the circle draw here, you bring these thicknesses down small enough and um, and it'll eventually flip over and correct itself and then you can start to draw um, uh, push and pull this back to the size you kinda need maybe make it a little bigger um, you know all that good stuff so so that's the moral of the story there now what I like to do is you know if you jump in here and you run under bezel again Obviously, you get the settings from the last one we used, so you have to correct it, and you can um, you can do that just by changing some of these sliders. Now, one thing you can do is you can you can like on the small stone, you can go to under bezel, and you know even though this is drawing now, it's still it's still um, it's like folding over on itself still. It's not doing a very good job, so. To me, this is still not valid. Um, but what I like to do is, and this will help with the other situation as well, is over here in the builder, let me pull this over, you can see it, we have styles. And I get this small under bezel the way I like it, and then I just save it. And, and I, in my case, I save it as 2.mss, so under under bezels, it's number 2. And I can just click that number 2, and it is a preset that will work on these small stones. Um, which is nice. So I just do that and it, it fixes the problem. It's a quick fix. So another thing is these uh, these half moons. And they kind of have the same problem that small stones do just because of the, the geometry um, and the way that the it, it really boils down to where the culet is in relationship to the table. It's not really centered it's uh, kind of over to the side so we end up with this thin wall over here on the side and it it has the same problem with folding over on itself but if you use the same settings that you use for maybe a small stone um, and you run the right builder so if I run that you can see it's using the settings for my small stone and it's not it's not a great under bezel but it is valid um, so you know, you may have to play with this, and and again, under under bezels for the half moons aren't great, um, but but you can uh, you can make that happen. Um, so there you go. It's just a matter of those values being in millimeter, and it takes it from the last one you used, and our defaults are a little too big for these big these small stones. Um, so there you have it. I would just save a style, and you can hop back into that at any time. And on another note, um, regarding this uh, this guy here, this half moon, um, this wall being kind of thin, if you're running matrix 7.5, uh, you hold control and shift, you can do some fancy business like that right there, and just thicken that wall up. But that's wizardry and, and all that, and we're not going to talk about it. <laughs>